Hey, what's up? This is King David, King the Composer, dngmusicbeatclass.com, and this is the first episode of Ask King. Now, you can ask me anything, anything that pertains to music production, software, songwriting, music industry, you name it, and I'll do my best to answer it. Now, the first question that I got was from a particular user on YouTube, and uh, his name is Mike K. His question is, um, I need help. Thanks for your tutorial on how to record into FL9. My problem is, um, I have the ASIO driver, I set my computer recording to my inter audio interface and the playback to my computer sound card, so he set that up right. I even experimented with setting the playback to the audio interface. Either way, I select uh, ACO driver in FL Studio. In the mixer, on the in, I select my sound card. I press record. The options come up to record in Edison and whatnot. I click the second option, but I see no waves appearing. I play back and nothing. I have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Thanks, bro. If you can help, thanks for reading. All right. So, ask King. Let's, let's get this right. So, he did everything right. He had it set up for the ASIO driver. You can just click down to your audio settings and make sure that you have the ASIO driver recorded uh, set. Then you go to your mixer and then set an input uh, mixer channel. We'll just go with one for now. Make sure that you come here to your in and it's set. If you're doing vocals, it's set to analog in and mono. Then you want to make sure that this floppy disk thing on the bottom has been yellow lighted or orange lighted depending on the color of your screen. So if that's right then you're good to go. You're ready to record. So he did everything right. Now here's what I think happened. I think what you did Mike was you pressed record and you hit play and you recorded and you did record sound. The way you can tell is if you if you hit uh, edit and where it says undo it says undo recorded data or recorded I think it's recorded data undo recorded data um, so you did it right but what's happening is your audio is going into your recorded folder uh, we all have a recorded folder and that's where all of our stuff gets stored unless you tell it to record somewhere else now this is my recorded folder and you can see it's scanning so that means there's a lot of stuff going on in there all right. Now what you could do is you could do several things. I'm going to show you the quickest, easiest way to remedy this problem. When you're recording, make sure you have your song already produced and ready to go. Instead of recording in pattern mode or directly into the Edison through your mixer, go into song mode All right, and follow the same steps that you followed. Now when you record, you'll go uh, into your playlist and you'll see that your audio has made it into your playlist it'll be right there uh, you can also undo it if you don't like it and re-record it that's the best way to get audio that's how I record every hit song that I write directly into uh, the playlist then you once you have your audio in there you can edit it chop it flip it slap it rub it down oh no <laughs> like Bell Bib DeVoe alright so uh, thanks for asking the question, Mike K. And uh, just remember, if you have a really important question, now I don't, I can't promise that I can get all of the questions answered. I'll try and pick the ones that I think uh, many, many people will have or need the answer to. All right. So this is King David, King the Composer, BeatClass.com, DNG Music. Just ask King or ask King. You tell me which title you like the best. Anyhow. That's all I got for you today, and I'll talk to you next week. One love. Peace.